Smartphones are the digital control centers of modern life. Always at the ready, they carry nearly all the information we need for day-to-day -day life. But these small devices are much more than phones. They're mini computers, and they are just as susceptible to viruses. 18-year-old Marcel Corrazza found this out the hard way a few months ago. He downloaded a contaminated app which blocked his phone. It was ransomware, a form of digital blackmail. I was totally shocked, completely surprised. They told me my phone would be unblocked if I paid 100 euros by pay safe card. But he didn't cough up. He thought it might be a scam. Such scams are becoming more frequent, and phones that run on Android operating systems are most at risk. In 2015, there were over 3 million types of viruses circulating. Ransomware often sends out seemingly official warnings and notices demanding money. IT security expert and ethical hacker Marco Di Filippo tells people never to pay up. It may not unblock the device. He believes there's a common misconception about the security of smartphones. Many people are very naive and continue to use the phones like before without protecting them or even being aware that there's a risk concerning the many communication channels a smartphone has. The danger is as big as with a normal computer. Public Wi-Fi zones are especially dangerous. All Marco Di Filippo needs is some simple software to hack into someone else's phone and spy on the user data. We selected a Wi-Fi network, scanned it, and found a victim. Now we can see the data traffic. This is an encrypted connection, so I can see the domains, but not the content. But here's a typical unencrypted connection where I can also read the content. And in this case, that includes the password. Very sensitive information, online banking for instance, is usually encrypted. But expert hackers can find their way through the protective layers and even read passwords and other supposedly secure data. Companies need secure smartphones. Christoph Erdmann is CEO of SecuSmart, which develops software and hardware to protect phones used by firms and government agencies handling secret and sensitive information. Its products ensure that Chancellor Angela Merkel's phone is now spy-proof. Companies are very good at securing their laptops. There are standard practices for that. But people are still naive when it comes to smartphones. These provide a pathway to attack companies and get hold of secret information. Yet it's not that difficult to protect a phone. You just need to install an antivirus app and follow a few basic rules. You should make sure that all communication data is encrypted and only download apps from trustworthy sources. You should use the Internet cautiously. Stay away from dubious sites. It's also very, very important to lock the device and use a code. Many people don't do this. In the end, Marcel Corazza lost a lot of data and photos because he had to reprogram his phone. The first thing he did was install an antivirus app.